Councillor Rick Shirelli should have his salary suspended for an extra 180 days. That's on top of a council ordered 270 day salary suspension. That's been the top news so far this week out of Ottawa City Hall. City Council on Wednesday agreed with the recommendations from Integrity Commissioner Robert Marlowe, who investigated complaints from two women who worked in Shirelli's office. Now remember in the summer, the Integrity Commissioner filed a report going into complaints from three women who were interviewed for jobs in Shirelli's office. There's a common thread that goes through both reports and that's that Councillor Shirelli made inappropriate, lewd, sexualized comments to these women. Council on Wednesday voted unanimously asking Councillor Shirelli to resign. Councillor Shirelli issued a statement later on saying he's not going anywhere. He questions the integrity investigation and in fact, he's filed an application to court to challenge the integrity commissioner's jurisdiction. City Council is interested in taking away a lot, uh, as much of, of the powers that Councillor Shirley has had. They booted him off committees. They're having the clerk look into restricting his access to municipal facilities. And when it comes to his forfeited salary, City Council decided that that should be directed to agencies that look after survivors of domestic abuse, abuse and sexual assault. Also on Wednesday, City Council approved the LRT route between Algonquin College and Barhaven Town Center. You think this would be a joyous occasion for the city and certainly the southern suburbs, but this has come with controversy because the route is gonna have to take out 120 rental homes along Woodruff Avenue. And we've heard a lot from those residents in Manor Village. They've been protesting at City Hall and this week outside of Mayor Jim Watson's home. They're concerned about losing their homes, uh, which they consider affordable and eventually having to pay higher market prices somewhere else in the city. And we're still many years from the city breaking ground on this project, maybe 10 years. And the city doesn't even have money yet from the federal and provincial governments for such a project. Now, we're all looking forward to now December 9th. That's going to be the final vote for the 2021 municipal budget. Also on that day, we're gonna have a discussion about Lansdowne Park. We've already found out that the Ottawa Sports and Entertainment Group wants access to a capital maintenance account to help with its operational problems during the COVID-19 pandemic. But perhaps even more importantly, council will decide if it'll open up more consultations on the future of Lansdowne Park and the future of that agreement between OSEG and the city of Ottawa. So stay tuned to ottawacitizen.com and ottawasun.com for all your news out of Ottawa City Hall. For Post Media, I'm John Willing.